Does your marketing budget feel like a gamble? You're not alone. But what if I told you most businesses are underinvesting in marketing? And in this video, I'll dive in to the data and reveal how much that you should be spending to grow your business. We'll uncover answers to the questions, how do you find the right balance? What is the optimal spend to grow your business? And I'll even throw in some bonus tips for maximizing your marketing impact on a budget. So let's get started. But before I get into the heart of this video, let me briefly introduce myself. I'm Toby Danilchuk with 39 Celsius Web Marketing Consulting, and I've been actively involved with digital marketing for over 20 years. If you find this video helpful, please give me a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more actionable digital marketing tip. And if you need help with your digital marketing for your business, please reach out to me and my team now at 951-444-0174 or email me at toby at 39celsius.com. Okay, back to the content. First things first, let's talk about your business goals. What are you trying to achieve with your marketing efforts? Most of you likely want to increase sales and profit. Your goals will directly impact how much you need to spend. For example, if you're going to double sales, you will have to invest quite a bit to achieve that growth versus growing sales by only 20%. So before you even think about the numbers, take some time to define your marketing goals. Reflect on your company. Are you treating your business as a cash cow and want to maintain sales and maximize how much profit you pull out of the company? or do you want accelerated growth? This distinction matters. To illustrate why this distinction is so important, let me tell you about a business in Atlanta that we worked with. It was a casual dining, family-oriented restaurant. The owner was young, he had been working there since he was 16 years old, and now in his 30s, with all the experience, he bought a franchise. The business was solid, he pulled out enough profit to earn a nice living, but it wasn't growing. Up to this point, he had never done any marketing and relied on walk-by traffic and word of mouth, which was enough to maintain sales and profit. Then he started a Google Ads campaign. He ran Google Ads for three months and allocated about 1-2% to of sales to this effort, so not much. After three months, he paused and said, I didn't see any growth in sales and profit, so it's clear that he was treating this business as a cash cow. He wouldn't invest in marketing for future growth. He didn't want to sacrifice anything now for the future. However, some other points about this situation are essential. Marketing is not a one-time shot, or let me try something once. Marketing is an ongoing effort. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Marketing builds momentum over time like a rolling snowball that gets bigger the longer it goes. You can't invest in a few months and then expect a miracle. So your mindset is important. What are you trying to achieve for your business? Do you want to maintain sales or position it for growth? But not investing anything in marketing is a recipe for future struggle and disaster. Next up, let's look at your financial resources. How much can you comfortably spend on marketing without breaking the bank? A good starting point for a marketing budget is to allocate a percentage of your revenue to marketing. For many businesses, that might be a range anywhere from 2% of sales to 10% of your sales. You need to consider your cash flow and overall financial health in combination with your goals. If you're aggressive, 10 to 20% of sales. If you treat your business as a cash cow, like our example before, and you want to pull the maximum profit out of your business, then 2% of sales. And if you're a brand new business, base your investment on marketing as a percentage of what you want your end of first year sales to be, as an example. But the sweet spot for your marketing budget is where your goals and resources intersect. Given your budget, it's about prioritizing the marketing activities that will significantly impact your business. In a follow-up video to this one, I'll discuss which marketing tactics will have the most significant impact. So watch that one as well. Remember, your budget is not set in stone. You can always adjust it as you go along based on what's working and what's not. For example, years ago before having my agency, my wife and I started a furniture and home decor business importing unique items. We started with a small retail store. It wasn't bigger than 1,500 square feet. And the challenge with this business was that it was an asset intensive business. All our cash was tied up in inventory. Still, I knew way back then that I had to invest in marketing to make people aware of what we had to offer and that I had to be consistent. So even though we had negative cash flow, when we started, I still allocated to marketing consistently. I never stopped. Perhaps I might pull back on some months or increase in others, 
but I never stopped marketing. I then focused on SEO, Google ads, and local home decor magazine ads that I knew would reach my ideal audience. This is going quite a ways back and SEO was just getting off the ground as a marketing niche, but by investing consistently in SEO marketing and uniquely positioning our brand in search, more and more people found us by searching online. And within a few years, we went from having a tiny little retail store to having a national distribution all over the country. I was shipping to upstate Minnesota, New York, Colorado, all over. Now here's the kicker in this whole story. We did so well with SEO across all three search engines, Google, Yahoo, and Bing at the time, that our main furniture manufacturer who represented 60% of our sales told us he was getting complaints from other retailers around the country that we were taking their business from them because people were finding us in search and that he would no longer sell to us. Crazy, right? Our own success led us to this point. But fast forward to today, and after working with hundreds of small businesses and running several of my own companies, I can tell you that marketing is key to your success. Any discussion about marketing budgets would not be complete without tracking success over time and understanding what's working. Measuring your return on investment, or ROI, is crucial. There's many tools to help you do this. However, one of the simplest and quickest, easiest ways is to just look at your monthly P&L or income statement to track marketing ROI. Here's how you can do that. ROI is sales growth minus your marketing cost divided by your marketing cost. So for example, if your sales were 100,000 in month one and then grew to 110,000 in month two and you invested 2,000 in marketing, your ROI would be four. That's an excellent ROI. For every dollar that you invested, you receive four back. But by trending this metric over time, you can see what's working and what's not so you can optimize your spending and get the most bang for your buck. And here's a few bonus tips for maximizing your marketing impact if you have a limited budget. Digital marketing has the highest return on investment compared to traditional marketing. For example, email marketing returns an average of $30 for every dollar invested. In some industries, it's even higher. Are you using email marketing automation in your business? Implement an SEO content strategy. A report by HubSpot that surveyed marketers highlights that marketers rated SEO and social media marketing as the number one highest return on investment. Focus on niche markets where you can stand out. Partner with other businesses to cross promote your products or services. And don't be afraid to seek professional marketing advice if you need it. So there you have it, a simple process for determining your marketing budget. Start with your goals and be crystal clear about what you're trying to achieve. Is your business a cash cow or are you looking to the future to grow? Then you can base your monthly marketing investment on a percentage of your sales. And finally, make sure you're measuring and tracking your marketing return on investment so that you can see what's working and adjust your plan. Remember, aligning your spending with your goals and resources is key. And don't be afraid to experiment. But most importantly, don't stop marketing. Start refining your marketing plan today. But if you're still feeling overwhelmed or unsure of where to start with your budget or what channels to market in, please reach out to me now. We can help you align your marketing budget to tactics and implement a plan that works for your business. Just call me at 951-444-0174 or email me at toby at 39celsius.com. And a friendly reminder that if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more actionable digital marketing tips and strategies. And until next time, we'll see you online.